Okay, I am at the hive this afternoon, I should say. I've been away for 10 days, been in England on vacation, and I haven't touched the hives obviously in the, the whole time. So I've come back to take a look. Um, they seem pretty busy, especially the one on the, the, the right, which is hive number four. I'm gonna have to n name these hives, but uh, I knew that that one was uh, stronger than the first hive, but there's still bees there. So uh, I'm gonna go through the two end hives, which is which have the new nukes in them. The fourth one, which has um, a super on it, or should I say a second brood box. And the first one, which I didn't add frames to, but hopefully I need to add frames today. So let's take a look. So this is the entrance to the fourth hive. I'm gonna in increase the size of the opening today because I think they need more entrance space, entrance clearance and possibly more ventilation because it's been warm and obviously two and three not much going on there or should I yeah two and three not much going on there a little bit but not much and the first one is not quite as busy either but I'm gonna have to increase their entrance also and see what's going on inside so I'm gonna put this down and open up the box looks as though they're fairly busy this is the top cover the inside of the top cover and the top of the second brood box which I added frames to they have definitely drawn out some comb in there I will take a look and see what I can find as far as the bee traps I don't think they've done anything with those there's no bees uh, sorry beetles I don't see any beetles in there so I'm gonna go through these and if I find anything I'm gonna bring the camera in to take a look maybe I can just set this down can I set this down <laughs> okay I'm going to shift over the two end frames because I don't think anything really is going on in the two end frames. Oh. Come on, B, get out of the way. Now, there's a good chance that they're just putting honey in this. We can see that there is some uh, nectar in these frames. I'm looking for eggs. I don't see eggs in that. I see nectar. That's all nectar, but I would expect that on the outside. Maybe I'll leave this frame out for a minute just to. Uh, Give me some space. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. It's kind of glued huh, to the bottom. Okay, again, this frame is all brand new comb. Filled with nectar, so really that's, that's, they're making honey. She obviously has room in the bottom box to lay. Now this frame is an older frame was the first frame that I put in there that already had some uh, comb drawn. Let's take, oh, that's heavy. This is a heavy frame. Oh, I see some, uh, some eggs in there. There's eggs in the middle, not capped. 
and on this side as well there's eggs in the middle here not capped so that's good so she's been up here into that first frame that was already drawn out when I when I put it in oh that's and the one next to it let's see that's uh, it's all nectar but it's all new comb I don't see eggs but I know that they are difficult to see anyway so I know she's in here I know she has room to grow there's a couple of frames on the outside at both ends that aren't drawn out it's looking healthy No beetles in the trap. That's good. I'll put this frame back in here and see if we can wedge them back into, into position. So they got room, they got honey, they got brood. These guys are doing really well. I'm going to open up the entrance of the hive a little bit. Come on. Give them a little bit of room to breathe. Give them a wider opening. Let me see if I can get this out without disturbing them too much. That's stuck in there good. I want to give them that little extra opening. Okay, I just kind of slid it sideways a little bit. They can protect that. Now, the first hive different story let's take a look because I didn't put any more brood frames on this one so there was nectar or should I say sugar water they've had all that that's empty that was 10 days ago they propolized the lid a little bit And now I'm thinking they're going to need some, some more boxes, or some more frames. So you can see them in the opening there. Give them a little scoot sideways. Okay, let's see how, let's see how this is going to be. <laughs> No smoke. Okay, so lots of bees. Do they still have room? Kind of making a mess of that. 
they still have one two frames that they haven't touched possibly one two on this end as well you have to get in there and take a look and see why I am looking at this frame and right here is a peanut and it's capped I believe that's a super seizure cell or an emergency cell not a swarm cell it's not at the bottom of the frame but I believe they're making themselves a new queen I'm not actually seeing eggs so I'm thinking that this is a new queen I think maybe the maybe the queen was dead when I got them I don't know I forget now did I see eggs in the first in the first uh, hive I'm gonna put that back because I think we're gonna want her to to develop come on guys okay so that's one one cell can you see me one one queen cell which I've never actually seen before in my one hive that I had before last last year I never actually saw a queen cell be interesting to see if there's only the one or if there is another one so I'm thinking I don't know what to think really maybe they didn't have a queen when I got them, there's a brand new nuke, should have had a queen. Ooh. Okay, oh, hang on. What is going on here now? There's a peanut down there. I don't understand why they would swarm. There is an open queen. Maybe they've already swarmed. There is just here. There is a, an open cell. Right here there is peanut. Right here there's a super seizure cell, I believe. Couple there. So it's kind of interesting not really what I wanted to see but if they're queenless then then I know that they should eventually get a queen so why not take a look at the last busy frame. I haven't used any smoke on these at all, I don't think. A little bit. They're being pretty gentle. They're not really coming after me. So there's some frames here with wax that I've put on it, but they're not drawing any of it out. Maybe because they're busy making a queen. That's my guess. What else do we see here? There is some comb drawn on this frame with honey. All honey on this frame. I see no eggs, so I'm thinking they're queenless. Well, that's interesting. So they've either, they've either swarmed Now this was a super frame that I put on This is all comb that they've made that's not in a frame So I'm thinking a lot of it is probably um, Oh no, there is worker brood there There is some worker brood that was laid obviously after I got this hive so they've either quick kicked their queen out there's another 
swarm cell there. Well, you're going to have to keep an eye on these guys. What about this side? No swarm cells on this side. Not even looking for the queen. I'm thinking that she's... Well, do you know the one queen cell, the swarm cell, was hatched out? Which to me would indicate that there is a queen in here, but she could be unmated. Well, she should be unmated, so she might be on mating flights. And it might take a while before she starts laying, so... They know what they're doing. It's not hopeless. But I'm going to have to keep my eye out for swarms. So I would have never thought that this would be the the hive that would swarm because they were so much weaker than the than the other one initially. So uh, it's tough pushing frames together when you don't know if the queen's in there getting pinched. I don't want to pinch a brand new queen. I would not want to do that. So again, you want to look inside this. Oh, it's tough to do this freehand, but you've got to get these frames pushed close together. Now, I know that I saw super seizure cells and swarm cells and an uncapped swarm cell. So there's a good chance that there is a new queen. Come on guys, move over. Good chance that there's a new queen on a mating flight, been on a mating flight or returned. Hopefully uh, successfully breed it, um, mated. Now we've got one more frame to stick in here. Let's turn you guys off and I'll put this in. So right or wrong, I decided to uh, try and help these guys out a little bit. I don't know if it's the right thing to do or not, but I decided to take one of the um, swarm cells out of this hive and put it into this nuke box and all the bees that were in the hive that was here before I put into that nuke box there's a couple of frames of honey, a little bit of pollen and some open cells uh, the, the swarm cell is capped over so I'm hoping within a little while that will hatch and she can hatch and maybe uh, oh she's coming after me <laughs> okay uh, so I had to walk away she was coming after the camera I think because it's black anyway um, so I've made a nuke box it's got a swarm cell in it and some bees some honey and a little bit of nectar and some open frames I'm hoping that maybe within the next week or so she'll hatch out and uh, we'll see what happens I'll keep an eye on that nuke box I'm not going to open it up though I'm just going to watch the bees see if they come and go see how it is uh, the, the, the hive that I took them for isn't particularly strong but I'm hoping there's still time this year for them to build up some strength and maybe even the the nuke box. It is late in the season, I think. It's uh, June 26th. June 26th, so it's late in the season, but we'll see what happens. So there it is.